All right, it's 547 on this Thursday. And Mike, I want you to think back. Mm -hmm. 10 years old, what were you doing? Garbage picking for our clubhouse. Things oh. for our clubhouse. Okay, garbage True story. picking. That's interesting. <laughs> One time I found a Garfield candle that was like the highlight of the garbage picking. Okay. Yeah. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to introduce you to a 10 year old author. Oh. Just became published. Mm. I spoke with her and her parents about her incredible journey. Better than garbage picking. A mm. little bit better. <laughs> 10 years old and you're already an author. Yeah. How does it feel? It feels excited and I'm happy and proud of myself. Caitlin Pruitt's passion is writing. It's happy to see my name on a book cover and then I get to sell my books and the people read about it. Where did you get this idea from? I always liked writing when I was little because I always like write, take little papers and then I started writing little stories on it. She tells me her first book, which is for sale on Amazon, took her about a month to write. It's called it's Lori's First Day at a New School. I'm nervous, said Lori. I never been to a new school. What if they don't like me? Is this your own personal story? Did you experience this? Yeah, just like Lori, I made new friends when I changed to a new school. I'm sure you want other kids to read your book. Mm -hmm. what, what's the message to them? There's gonna be changes in life, but sometimes changes are good. Paitlin's parents, Pete and Arian, say that's a lesson everyone can learn from. One thing I would just say is that I think the book inspires others. How do you feel about what your daughter's accomplished? <sighs> wow. <laughs> amazed, uh, proud, but I'm excited, you know, for her. Your parents, how have they helped you, you know, accomplish this goal? They've been believing in me and telling me I can do it, and, and they've been encouraging me through the way. So what's next for you? Mm, I may write more, even more books and more series of stories. I'm going to make a lot more adventures for her. Well, let me tell you, Paitlin is impressive. She's going to be signing copies of her book, Lori's First Day at a New School, this Sunday from 2 until 4 at the Bedford branch of the Cuyahoga County Library. Paitlin tells me she's excited to get uh, people to get her autograph, right? So if you get her book, she's going to sign that book for you. There are going to be activities, uh, food as well at that book signing. And she is so incredible. Like we even spent time in her room. She knows how to do hair. She has a little mannequin doll and she was showing me how to braid and, and do all sorts of things. She is so cute. Um, and, I, and I have to really give a shout out to her parents, right? Because parents are so important in a child's upbringing. Yeah. And she's a wonderful young lady. That's incredible. 10. I need her to I meet. I need Ava to meet her. Yes. Because I think <laughs> she could learn. What a great like role model though for other children, right? Like, oh look, you gosh. could be a published author at ten. Mm -hmm. You could do it. What you do now is you go, you get the book, you get the autograph in the book, and then someday down the line, mm -hmm. that book's probably going to be worth that autograph. Yeah. Be worth quite a. You know, kidding. listen, Mike, the photographer and I, when we were there, yeah. we said, don't forget us. Remember, we gave you your first interview. <laughs> so when you make it big and we come calling. Right. Love it.